Hi there, Bo here. I like to show you how I've made this game uh, three in a row. It's inspired by uh, an article I read on uh, Ray Wenderlich's uh, homepage. Um, as you can see here, it's an article by Matthias Matthias Holomans. And he describes how he have uh, how you can um, make a game like Candy Crush in Xcode for iOS, and it's a very comprehensive article with a lot of good uh, details and uh, features in this game. So I, I my challenge was to um, to try to build this in App Inventor. Uh, and I've managed to do this uh, halfway, so to speak. Um, uh, this uh, article of uh, the game made in uh, in Xcode is uh, two in two steps. Where the first uh, section here is about uh, having the the main functionality uh, working, and in the next uh, part, uh, you see here you make the final um, game logic uh, where you uh, you recognize uh, a swap uh, swapping two candies and then uh, <coughs> making the candies in the top fall down but uh, so far I was not able to reach in uh, App Inventor and I'll show you why it's because of the space in the the block editor. Um, so, but you can see here how um, Matthias has made a very nice animations, and uh, here you can see the logic for how to swap down the the cookies. And I I think it would also be possible to do in um, in App Inventor, but um, as it is for now, uh, the code area is very uh, hard to manage. I show you uh, the game here. I've downloaded it to Jenny Motion, and uh, as you see, I have a timer. So if you have not uh, made a, a selection in 30 seconds, you can see that my time uh, runs down here. Then the 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 small balls or circles here start to uh, to animate to tell you where the swap is. So I try to swap these two, and there's a sound uh, telling you that it was uh, a good swap or a correct swap. If I take a swap that's not correct, I get a failure sound, and uh, I'm withdrawn uh, five points here. See here. And each time I, I make a swap uh, right, I get 25 points so I make this two now I also get five points uh, and when I get a bonus uh, for each uh, 50 um, plus I get a bonus of 25 so you can see here when I reach 100 I get uh, a bonus And each time I make a swap, uh, I get a new uh, level or a new plate. And that's because I <coughs> had to stop putting more code in. Um, so I made this uh, workaround. So now I get 100 and I hope there's, I, I can't play a, a wave file in this, uh, this Jenny motion. But uh, it tells me that I got uh, plus 25 and plays a uh, small fanfare. If you can't uh, find the, the swap, uh, you can also buy a swap by shuffling down here, so it will give you a new plate. But let me show you how, I, how it is in, uh, in App Inventor. I've used uh, AE Live Complete, uh, this great um, uh, tool uh, made by uh, Hussein. Uh, <coughs> 
I've made this uh, with a table arrangement where I have put uh, 54 buttons inside, so it's quite a challenge to manage all this. You can see I have the list of uh, buttons here. And um, you can see it here in uh, tablet size. So I have this area up here with an add map, and I have a section here with a, a layout that pushes the, the middle section into the center. And uh, down here I have uh, the shuffle button, the time timer, and the point, points over here. So it's a quite simple uh, layout here. And the background is uh, black in this one. And uh, below this, I have my if I if I put on a scroll label here. Okay, it's it's not um, it's hidden. the The second screen I have is a layout that is hidden right now. This one, no. It's this one. So if I scroll down here, this is my bonus. I just uh, hide the other one. So I have to put it not scrollable again. So here you see my uh, bonus uh, screen that I show when uh, when you get a bonus. So I, I'd, I'll hide this, hide this again. And I'll show my game uh, arrangements. So. And if you look at the blog editor, you see where the all the fun parts is happening. So I have to uh, to zoom here to see all my code. So as you can see, it's uh, quite a challenge to manage all this code here. And this is only halfway through the um, tutorial. Um, so, but I, I have um, I have looked at the code on um, on this side here. Also. <coughs> so I go back to the first part. For example, if uh, there's a code called has a chain. Here you can see uh, has a chain at column. So uh, uh, Matthias he runs through the the set of. Um, Candies and he finds uh, finds if uh, each cell has a chain. So he looks uh, to the left and he looks to the right. And if it got more than three uh, cookies um, in a row, there is a, a possible uh, chain. And this uh, was uh, this cell is a possible swap. So in uh, AE Live Complete, I also have made this uh, as a chain. Um, so I have to zoom in again. And and this is the problem in uh, AE Live Complete. Uh, you have to. You can't search for code, so I have to remember where I put it, and I can't remember right now where the hazard chain is. So I just scroll out, a little, zoom out a little more.
down here. <laughs> so healthy chain looks like this in uh, in urban winter. So I um, I put a some flag in here. Flag has chain and start to put it false and then I, I initialize an image type a, a local uh, variable and two local variables you can see here the horizontal length is the same I, I have here here in this code uh, horizontal length equals one and then I have two four uh, loops here first the uh, First, I run in uh, the left, this side, and then I run in this uh, side. And uh, after that, he runs uh, this direction and then this direction. So, and I do the same here. I only do it uh, using a while test instead of uh, because in a in Admin Winter you can't have a for loop with uh, two conditions like you have here. Here has a for loop uh, from i each uh, column minus one and as long the condition i is uh, greater than or less zero and uh, the cook is uh, in cookie type in this uh, this position, if it equals uh, the the main cookie type, uh, this one, then I um, make uh, plus one to horizontal length. So you can see I make the same here. Uh, continue the loop as long as i is greater than zero, greater than not uh, equal because we start at one in uh, in. Uh, in lists in uh, in App Inventor, and as long as uh, <laughs> the the image uh, on this position equals the, the the image in the center position, or or this one we are testing for, and if uh, this is uh, right, you plus one to horizontal length, and you plus one to the the counter. And the while loop continues if the counter is still no I I, uh, I subtract one over here I, I also subtract one the first time it's because I run left so uh, that's how I'm, I'm I've managed to um, to translate this code into App Inventor but I reached the the limits. I can't uh, manage more code <coughs> in this screen, so I had to make a compromise in my game uh, uh, logic. So now it's but but uh, as you can see, I've managed to make a game here that you can play and uh, have fun. So that was my little introduction to how I, I've. Uh, I've translated this uh, very comprehensive and uh, awesome uh, tutorial by Matthias Holemans on raywinterlich.com. So go check this out and try to make your own game in App uh, in Winter. It's also a great tool, uh, and I'm looking forward in the future to have more uh, code area. Another way to manage code in uh, Air Inventor. But uh, thank you.